The most popular image file formats are probably JPEG and PNG. There's a major difference between them. Can you guess what it is? You... you probably can. It's transparency. JPEG doesn't support transparent backgrounds. And every time I search for a PNG on Google, it's a disguised JPEG. Hell, it might even be JFIF or whatever this monstrosity is. I'm tired of that. So today I'll make my own image file format. It will spread on Google. Every time you'll download an image, you will see that it's not a PNG. It's not a JPEG. It's a bro file. Okay, that probably won't happen. But I want to make my own file format in Rust. So let's go. So first up. We gotta make a function that will turn a PNG file into a bro file. You're probably wondering how I will store the image data. Will there be any binary involved? Any compression? Any... No. Okay, actually it's me from the feature. There will be some binary involved, aka bytes. This function goes through the pixels of the PNG file and translates their RGB value to hex. The reason we are switching from RGBA to hex is because hex is 6 characters long, if you don't include the hashtag. And RGBA, depending on how you store it, can be 10 characters long, in some scenarios. I'm not an expert here, but I think storing the hex will be better. Next we store each pixel color as hex inside the string. And at the end we write it to a file with the Bray extension. It's not finished yet, but we saw what the raw file looks like. A bunch of colors. Now, theoretically speaking, we could go through each 6 characters in the file, take it as a color and paint a pixel on the empty canvas with it, but currently we have no way of knowing when we have to switch to the next row of pixels, and therefore currently the script just goes in one row. A quick update, making the file have new lines was surprisingly easy, and I even wrote the code without googling it. I know it's simple, but I'm proud of it. Now the function is complete, we provide the PNG path to it and it will turn it into a bro file, which consists of a bunch of hex values. It's around 3.3 times worse in terms of size, I could definitely improve it with some compression, but who cares. Hey, it's me from the feature again. Turns out it's not 3.5 times more size, it can go up to 98% more size, which is roughly 12 megabytes from a 100 kilobytes file. <laughs> now let's make a way to actually view the bro file. The plan is simple, we take each hex value in the file and draw a pixel with that color on an empty canvas. Then we show the image. I wasted a couple hours trying to figure out why the data was being read in random characters. I tried different libraries and stuff like that. I almost lost the code and then I realized I put PNG instead of bro. Yeah. But hey, who cares? Now the script can read the file. Time to do some string manipulation to split each hex into an array. Quick question. What do you do if you write messy code? Try to make it simpler? Ignore it? No. You rewrite everything including the image structure. We are dealing with raw bytes now. Yay. It's currently night. I wasted 2 hours because I forgot to change .png to that bro. Again. So, if we remove this, it should work. Oh no. What causes that color abomination to happen? I don't know. I fixed it by setting the alpha of the RGB8 to 0.004. If anyone knows why that happens, comment it down below because I'm genuinely curious. So, now it works. But we have to make it so Windows runs the program each time I try to open profile. How do we do that? Well... Okay, so, we have to find a way to open a window in Windows that will show our image. How do we do that? Well, we have this package. This package. This package. Surely Google has an answer. Surely ChatGPT can help. Surely Bing AI can help. Oh god. I finally found a way to show the image. Let's go. <laughs> it's been a waste of time. Everything is finished now. If you want to turn a PNG file into a bro file, you can run cargo run compile followed by the path to the image. And if you want to open a bro image, then you can run cargo run followed by the path to the image. Or just set bro.exe as default app to use to open bro files. More instructions are inside the GitHub repository below. Uh, just as a side note, this is a stupid video. Don't use the bro extension. 
It's not meant to be lightweight, fast or efficient. It's just for the memes. A big thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.